In our last video, I showed you how to add color to your background and a gradient background. We're going to go in now and add kind of a snazzy little title to it, but I've decided I don't like this gradient combination. So I'm going to go to background and I'm going to go to, I clicked on plus for new and I'm going to say done. For some reason that other window just hangs there. So now I'm back into my editing tools. So I'm going to get rid of the yellow. I think that's a bit too much. So I'm going to click on that stop. That's where we're adding new colors and click on remove. I'm going to say OK and I think I like that one. So now I'm going to add in the title to my poster, but we're going to do it and add, like I said, a little pizzazz. So we're going to go to insert word art. We're going to type in digital citizenship. And yeah, that's okay, but I think we can do a little bit more. I'm going to use my aligning tools so that I have that right in the center. Now I need to copy and paste that. So you can do a right click, copy, and then paste. Or you can do, in my case, Command C because I'm using an Apple computer. So let's just go ahead over here and click on Edit. I'm going to copy, then I'm going to paste. So now we have two. What we're going to do is, well, we have one of them highlighted. In other words, the sizing boxes around them. I'm going to change my fill color. And I'm going to go ahead and use my up and down arrow to get them aligned so that they're even. But when I move them over, I want to move them really in small, small moves. Now, this looks pretty cool. But I could even hold down the shift button and make even smaller moves if I wanted to. So I could go to the left or to the right, whatever you want. But do you see by doing this, you add dimension to your overall title, which is kind of dramatic. What I could also do, I could change both colors. So I'm going to come over here to fill. I'm going to choose a dark blue and I'm going to, oop, hold on, go back to the one that I want. And I can have this one in front by using my up and down arrows and a very light shadow. I could use my shift key again and I can move that wherever I want, but we want to make sure they're connected. Now, if you want one on top of the other, let's say you want the red in back, you're going to do a right click, go to order, and send to back. And this time you can make the blue the dominant one. I kind of lost that there. So now I'm going to bring that one over and it's going to go on top. So the red is in the back. That's a little hard on the eyes, not the best choice of colors, but I think you get the idea of what we're trying to do here to add some dimension. Have fun!